Hi guys, welcome back to Kim's class. Today's lesson will focus on the how and why the phrase have to turns into have to. Let's look at today's objectives. The first objective says, I know the difference between teacher talk, which is what you're hearing now, and street talk, which is what you hear at work or anytime outside of a classroom. The second objective says, I understand why the word have to turns into have to. I know how it's used and how to use it correctly in a sentence. Now, remember that during the practice time, I'll be using phrases from my idiom lesson called dating. Don't worry if you don't understand the idioms or the slang that I use in this lesson. You can go back to that lesson and watch it later. So let's go ahead and look at the rules and how this works. Let's look at some of the rules of the how and the why that the phrase have to turns into have to. In this phrase, have to, this E is silent. You know that, but what you might not know is that the letter V changes to the F sound. So we have half instead of have. The other thing that's happening here has to do with the vowel here in the word to. Because the letter O is an unstressed short vowel, like the O in the word to, it is pronounced uh. So this sounds like ta. Half ta. Half ta. Let's look at some examples and see if it becomes a little easier to understand. Here, the teacher talk sentence says, do you have to dump him? Now, if you're asking yourself what dump him means, I want to remind you that these green phrases are idioms. These idioms can be found in the lesson titled dating idioms. So you can go back and understand what those words mean. But let's look again at teacher talk for this sentence. Teacher talk sounds like, do you have to dump him? What you hear is, do you have to dump him? See how the word have to becomes have to. Let's try it shorter. Do you have to? Do you have to? Let's look at this example. I have to stand her up. Well, what does that change to? Again, it changes to have to. You hear, I have to stand her up. Our last example sentence is in the negative. Here you say, you don't have to lead her on, but what you hear is, you don't have to leave her on. Let's look at that again. Have to, have to. Have to lead her on, have to lead her on. You could try more examples with other sentences later, but for now, let's see if we've learned the objectives. I hope you would. So, do you know the difference between teacher talk and street talk? I think you do. How about this one? Do you understand why words like have to turn into have to? Do you know how to use them? I think so. So that concludes today's lesson. Thank you for coming to Kim's class and even more thanks for letting me come on this journey with you to learn English. Bye for now. Hope to see you soon.